from The Pinning Mama. Welcome to, par to part of the three series videos for lesson four, the crop tool. There's a lot of fun things you can do with the crop tool, so I had to do three videos to show you all the different things. Um, hop on over to the blog and check out the my mini series, um, Silhouette Boot Camp. It's great, and you can learn how to do all the great and fun things with um, Silhouette Design or Silhouette Studio and design fun, fun things. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do the knockout design using the Silhouette Studio software in one very simple way using the crop tool. Crop tool is so fun, as you can tell. I love it. Um, I'm going to start. This is what it looks like. What we're going to do is love. So I'm going to start by opening up and we're going to write the word love. I really like the font Bebe Snoo. That's one of my favorite fonts. I use it all the time. And I'm going to write the word love. Make it really big so we can work with it better. Make it a little longer. A little bigger. And then I'm going to fix, uh, let's see, down here at character spacing. Can we see my little mouse? I'm going to space it a little bit closer. As close as I can get without touching. Perfect. It makes it easier to kind of see when you put the, des the knockout design in there. Okay, I'm going to fill this in so we can see what we're doing. There we go. Perfect. And I'm going to go up to the library and I'm going to grab this heart right here. And then move it over. And I'm going to start figuring out how I want it. Big help when you're doing these knockouts is you want to make sure that um, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. So I want to make sure that key parts of the heart or this bottom part right here is on a letter. This spot, this part right here is on a letter because then you can see it a little bit easier when you knock the design out. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to tell what design it is that you're doing. I'm going to fill the heart in so we can see it. Perfect. So what I want to do is I want to select love and I want to duplicate it. So I'm going to select it, right click and duplicate. I'm going to pull this out over here. Very, very important before you do anything else is you want to make sure you have that duplicated because you want it to be the exact same size so that everything fits when you start this whole knockout process. Um, so make, make sure, the big key with cropping is you want to make sure you duplicate before you do anything. Okay, so now we're going to select the love and we're going to select the heart. And I'm going to modify over here and I'm going to crop that. You see how that cropped everything that um, was not, um, the heart wasn't over. So what I'm going to do um, it what it was was everything that's not overlapping. Sorry, I kind of lost my train of thought. So let's let's fill this in with pink again. The first time we filled it in, and we're going to right click and group group it together so it can move as one, so that we don't get it off. So then we're going to take our love and we're going to move it over. And um, we're going to send that to the back. Ta da! Okay. You can move the heart around. You can select the heart and move it around to get it a little bit on there better. Like so. Okay. You now have your knockout design. Um, you would have to cut out the black love 
then the pink heart and place them together in after they're both cut. Um, more advanced would be to cut the black vinyl behind it. Um, it would be kind of a layering. So you wouldn't be layering on top so it wouldn't be two different sizes. Um, it, it's, it's the subtract feature, which we will go over a little bit farther down the road. Um, but I will go over that. So stay tuned for a little bit farther down the road for the next Silhouette Boot Camp. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it on the on this YouTube video or over on the blog. I will answer them all for you. Stay tuned for the next video on Silhouette Studio software is how to use the divide tool. Another fun tool. So thanks guys.